Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, in this video, we're going to do uh, another example from this uh, textbook. In this uh, video, we're going to look at the uh, example from listing 4.19, uh, which is a testing circuit for a stopwatch, uh, which uh, um, basically uh, instantiates two uh, design entities, uh, one of the actual uh, stopwatch itself uh, over here, the other one uh, display um, underscore hex underscore max uh, which we actually don't need in the case of uh, the D1 SOC board because uh, in our case all uh, the seven, uh, seven segment displays are individually wired to separate pins of the FPG chip so I assume that you've already started and looked uh, at what this uh, design does it's just a uh, simple uh, stopwatch I have created uh, called this project to which I added that uh, listing 4.19 with a couple changes that I'll uh, get back to uh, quickly. Uh, the listing 4.17 untouched, just as it is in the textbook, and um, this um, seven segment display uh, X2 seven segment display driver uh, with a couple of changes to make it work for the D1 SOC. Board. Uh, the changes made in the top level testing circuit, uh, the stop underscore watch underscore test, uh, include uh, removal uh, of that multiplexer, as, as I said. Uh, instead, um, I had to add in here um, three uh, output ports um, to drive separately each of the three seven segment displays. The architecture itself uh, doesn't really have any more this uh, entity over here. Uh, uh, we do keep the stopwatch uh, instance, of course. Uh, you see it over here. Uh, and in addition, um, three instances, uh, not four, as I put here in this comment, of this um, hex to seven segment uh, display uh, converter. So uh, that is um, essentially it. Uh, don't forget uh, always to make sure that um, you have the right pin assignments inside your uh, PSF file. Uh, in this case, I have to bring in uh, all the pin assignments for the 7 displays. In addition, I have to make sure that the clock input is, is uh, assigned to the right pin of the APG. Uh, that is connected to the crystal quartz oscillator on the board and the, the two buttons um, that I'm using are the key 0 and key 1 push buttons to design. I have already uh, compiled, uh, placed, routed and programmed the FPGA of course with the uh, programmer and uh, what I have to do is to show you how it uh, works. As you can see over here uh, this is key 0, uh, that is clear, and this is uh, key 1, push button, um, uh, the go. Um, the number uh, of the counter uh, is, is right now uh, with 0, I'll, I'll clear, I'll reset it, and then I'll, I'll set it to go. As you can see, it counts correctly. I stop, it stops. Continue. It works correctly. Uh, I can clear it again and then go again. It's a cool stopwatch uh, design. Uh, 